Okay, this is our last example. Kind of a long group of videos, but just a lot to cover, but they're not super hard. Uh, this is also, the way this is written, this is also an and problem. It doesn't have a word, but the X is stuck between two inequalities, which is kind of what those and pictures did. So we're gonna have two circles and a line connecting, just like we did in the last one. Now we go to solve it, the best part about this is whatever I do to one part, I have to do to all three. And normally we just have an equation, whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. So our goal is still to get X by itself. So as I look at this, I'm gonna do okay, what's the opposite of multiplying by three, dividing by three, and what's the opposite of adding seven? Subtracting seven. But when I do it, when I do it to the left, the middle, and the right, wherever the inequalities are. So I'm gonna go like this, this, and this. All right, I'm gonna do the opposite of adding seven. I'm gonna subtract here, here, and here. And I'm just gonna bring my inequalities straight down. Now over here, I have negative five minus seven. So negative seven, remember, is negative 12. 31 minus seven is 24. And here the sevens cancel, we're left with three X. Now we're almost done solving this one. Now we are going to divide by three to get X by itself. Well, if I do it in the middle, I have to do it on the left. I have to do it on the right. Now right here I have a negative 12, but I'm dividing by a positive. So don't make the mistake of flipping this. The 12 was already negative, the three was positive, so it's gonna stay that way. And now negative 12 divided by three is negative four. And then here the threes cancel, I'll get x. And now 24 divided by three is eight. So if we go to graph our number line, all right? You could go by twos if you wanted, or you can just count. I'm gonna go zero a little to the left. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. And now I'm going to plot my graph. I'm going to use my circles. I'm going to use an open one at negative four. And there's a bar here at eight. So I'm going to go over that right here. And now if I look, where is the X located? Well, the X is in between the negative four and the eight. So that's telling you connect them. If you think about numbers, if I plug it in here, Say I take this positive three, and if I plug it in, is negative four less than three? Yep. Is three less than eight? Yep. Makes all of it true. Any number I pick in this area will make that true. All right. Now, once again, for the interval notation, all we have to do is start on the left edge, negative four, go to the right edge, positive eight, and then just go bracket for the eight, open circle for the negative four. All right, this will get you through 3.1 assignment.